would be in this one. It is a beautiful balance between everything that Bovani has to offer. So that beautiful distillery character, but really high performing European oak. So on the nose, we have that beautiful citrus. We have a little bit of, um, the best way I would describe it is a, a little bit like coffee. So we have that subtle sharpness on the nose. Of course, the oak, we have that lovely tannin dialing up the, in there as well. And, and then on the taste, again, it, it really accentuates all of these flavours. They layer beautifully one on top of the other. Um, I typically tell people to add a little bit of water. Again, it's personal preference, but for this, I certainly wouldn't. I would try it neat. It's at 42.4% ABV, so it's beautiful. It's not too high. The fact that that ABV is dialed down naturally over time on its own, it is beautifully soft and that sort of sweetness on the taste as well. So definitely don't be shy. I invite everyone to have a good nose and a taste of it as well. But it has been so special for me to work on this spirit. Of course, we can recreate different spirits time and time again, but this, in so many ways, has felt like a time capsule for us. To be able to work on something that has sat in warehouse for 60 years, to be able to nose and taste it and select it, has been truly unique. And this is actually the first ever tasting that um, anyone outside of the distillery has had of it. So really enjoy and and if you have any questions, of course, please ask me. So can you tell us a little bit about the cask? Sorry? Can you tell us a little bit about the cask? Yeah, of course. It's, um, so as I was saying, it's a, a European oak hostage. Mm. Typically in the 60s, we would have received a lot of European oak. The way that we mature casks at the distillery, we are um, all over what oak type they are, how many times they've been filled. In the 60s, we didn't have a database like we do now. So a lot of the identification about whether it was American or European oak, we had to do a little bit more investigative work around. So in this one, we've confirmed it's a, a European oak. So we have that all of the flavours that we would typically expect from a European oak hogshead in terms of the spice, that beautiful syrup sweetness that comes off as well. And the fact that it's been sitting for so long, especially with Bovenia in it, the richness of Bovenia really complements the European oak very well. So they work in unison and you end up with this beautifully rich flavour. I was talking before about that subtle coffee nose that we can get, hopefully we can pick that up as well. But when we go back and forth to it many times, um, it'll slowly reveal more and more of itself. There's a, a very sweet sort of floral flavour that I pick up in there, I would describe it as lavender. And um, hopefully you can pick it up as well, but yeah, it's been one of the most special products that I could have asked to have worked on. So selecting it has been such a dream and being able to bottle it and bring it to everyone has been so exciting. Does anyone have any questions at all? Busy enjoying it, which is good. <laughs> <laughs>